26th on this Wednesday morning, and a Hollywood actor is opening a new restaurant this week in Seminole Heights. So Tyler Lefley is known for his roles on the Oprah Winfrey Network, Stars, and more. And he now owns Lefley's Kitchen and Lounge on Florida Avenue. Deanne sat down with the actor and shares the impact he plans to make on our community in this week's For the Culture. Hey, Deanne. Hey, and good morning, everybody. So I got a sneak peek look into Lefley's Kitchen and Lounge. It's Tyler Lefley's way of showing his love for food, culture, and Tampa. Lepley, not Leplay. <laughs> Meet Tyler Lepley, a man with the jokes, but also a talented actor. Real busy right now. He's played Diamond on the star's hit show P Valley, Benny on Tyler Perry's The Have and the Have Nots, and Ian on Amazon Prime's Harlem. The L.A. superstar story began in Philly 36 years ago. There were aspects of my life where I was just always unsure of myself and just trying to figure things out. Lepley once dreamt of playing in the NFL. After an injury, he took a risk, moving cross-country. I've been without, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, without tangible means, but with also, you know, without direction. Um, and even though I didn't have it, I knew that I was going towards it and I always needed to find it. Like, I, didn't, I needed to find, like, a purpose or just something that I was... Uh, enjoyed doing enough that I could chase for a lifetime. A chance meeting at the gym led him to an acting audition. Well, everybody's got that one person they blow their lives up for. Twelve years later, he's on the big screen, and now... <laughs> the owner of Lepley's Kitchen and Lounge. In my first business venture, I wanted to make sure that, you know, my heart was in it. Because it's just like with acting, you know, if my heart's in it, you, you're gonna tell. Lepley visited Tampa two years ago. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite dishes and immediately fell in love with the city. The love here is like is like nowhere else I've been. I've been all over the country. So he's investing in the community with Caribbean and Southern cuisine. Talk about how you all cultivated the menu and, and how your culture is actually kind of displayed within some of the things that folks will be able to indulge in. Southern comfort food is definitely a staple here, but you know, myself and you know, another owner, we have some Caribbean vibes, uh, Caribbean blood in us as well. Um, and with our, our head chef being from the Bahamas, you know, we felt that it was important to make sure we fused it with some international flavors as well. This is so good. From jerk lamb chops to Caribbean fried chicken, <laughs> Lepley's is bringing more culture to Seminole Heights. It's almost like we're, we're re-gentrifying the gentrified area. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? We're taking the black back and it's just, you know, it, it's, not, it's not a hostile takeover though. You know, it's one, that's do, it's, do, it's one that's done with love and with, you know, open arms. And soon, open doors. When you're here, it's really family, and then when you leave, it's, it's still the same way. So, yes, the food was incredible. I tried it all. And the restaurant is having a soft opening this Saturday and Sunday. I'll put all the details for you on WFLA.com. That grand opening, that's happening in December. And then they're also going to partner with a local nonprofit in order to give back to our community, which Lee, he's saying this is now his community, so he definitely wants to give back. I just love it. I love that he came down here. He saw it. He fell in love with it. Now he's taking root here. I love it, love it, love it.